What's up everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's story time, this is the time me and my mom got locked out of our car at the laundry place. And I gotta say, this was something that we were not expecting at all. Now, I've talked about some dark and weird stories on YouTube a lot, especially ones that go way too far. So I thought I might tell a very funny story that happened in my life. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on the video and let's jump right into this right now. So this story time takes place years ago, and I was at my house doing my homework, and our dryer and washing machine was not working, and whenever we used the washing machine, it would make this loud banging noise where everyone could hear it. So until we got it fixed, the only way I could wash my clothes is to go to the laundry place, which I hated going to because there was always a lot of people, but it was either that or wear just funky ass clothes, which was really a bad idea because I didn't want to smell real bad. And I didn't want people saying that I stink because I chose not to get my clothes washed. It was either that or just stink real bad. Me and my mom would go there on certain days since I had a lot of dirty clothes and shit. But there was this one day, and it was fucking funny. Something happened at the laundry plant that was so fucking funny, but at the same time it wasn't. And when I remember this, I start to laugh about it. As I was doing my homework, my mom walks in and said that we were going to the laundry plant, which at first I really didn't want to go to, but eh, I didn't really want to smell like corn chips in a donkey's ass, and I really didn't want to smell like that at all. Like, can you imagine someone saying, dude, you smell like someone's ass, get the fuck away from me and don't come near me. And that would be the most embarrassing moment of your life. So I got my dirty clothes, loaded them into the car, and we drove to the laundry plant. After getting there, I unloaded everything and we walked in the building. There wasn't that many people there since there was only like a few. My mom started putting the clothes into the washing machine and then we just sat there waiting. And as we were waiting, I happened to notice that she left her window down on her car. So I told her, hey, you left your window down. And she looked out the door and she saw that it was down and she went outside to close it. And that right there... That was the biggest mistake I ever made telling her about her car. And I know some of y'all are going to comment and say, Xavier, you couldn't just not say anything because what if someone broke into her car and stole something? I understand that, but that's not why I'm saying it was a mistake. It's because as soon as she went to close it, I was already getting the clothes out of the washing machine and putting them into the dryer. And I was going out there to say something. But the minute I was about to say something to her, she had closed the door, but then realized that she had left her keys in the car. And as soon as she realized it, it was already too late. And the first thing I said was, oh, fuck, because I feel like I really shouldn't have said anything. So we tried all the doors just in case she locked those, and she did lock them. And I was freaking out at first. And my mom was angry because this happened. My mom had me call her friend to go to her house and get the spare key since we had no way of getting in. And me and my mom were just sitting there, wondering what to do, until some random lady drove up and saw us. She asked us if we were okay, and my mom was like, I'm locked out of my car and I just called my friend to go to my house to get the spare key. And then the kind lady decided to help us by trying to break into the car. So what she did was go to the car and try to jimmy the lock to see if it will open. She used this metal thing that when you can't get into a locked car... You can use this to break into it by sliding it down in the window. And luckily, she managed to get the door open for us and we were relieved. And I'm thinking, great, we're finally going to go. And I've been sitting here for far too long. Until my mom started the engine and the car wouldn't start. Where now we had another problem. And this kind lady who helped us earlier actually had cables that she hooked up to my mom's car and to her car to where she got the battery to work again. And in the end, we went home and everything was okay. But you are probably wondering where my mom's friend was. Well, he was still at work and he did go there, but we called him and told him that we were good and everything was okay. But yeah, that was the time me and my mom locked, got locked out of our car. And the moral of this story is, make sure to double check that you have your keys with you before you lock your car door. And if the lady who helped us is watching this, you're really awesome. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, leave your stories in the comments down below, and I will see you all later. Peace.